and welcome back everyone for the next part of Devil Survivor Overclock. I think we should really check out what, what Izuna and Fushimi are doing over there. I mean, there is a battle. Maybe they need our help, right? Maybe we could get out of the tunnel now. If they are hey! maybe a bit distracted. Why are we on this highway? Where are we going? Trying to escape the, the lockdown. Maybe f slip through the cracks of the battle. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, we are meeting a special unit. A special unit? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds cool. If Azuna's there, we might be able to learn something. If she's going to listen to us, unless of course she is trying to scare us away again with the guns and eh. Uh... But if no one's there, we're really in luck. We can get out of here. I know, that was the plan. But shh, it's her. Don't speak so loud about it. Who knows? Maybe maybe the battle that's going to happen hey, is going to distract them all. From behind us. Huh? Why? We're in trouble if they attack from the rear. Let's take them out now. Sure. All right, let's do this. Um, why are we doing this? I thought Izuna and the, the captain are going to battle something. Not that we have to battle against something. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You know what? You know what? This is going to be perfect. Actually, it's better if you go for this one. Sundine on the left. Yuzu is going to go for the Force M on the right. Let's check our team again, just to make sure. Their weakness is... Oh! Oh, I can mute you guys, huh? Sun is very effective. Sun. Ice sun. Okay. Doesn't look so bad. Then I guess I'm going to give myself... Uh, the shifts. Force boost. Electric boost. No. She has force boost and Masan, so that's fine. I'm just going to grab uh, force dance for now, I guess. And then again, ice is actually quite fine. I don't need all of that. I can still mute them if I need it. So I'm going to grab my my two skill crackers right over here. Atsuru comes over here, and Midori. Support Midori is ready to go. Now we switch the screens. And let's do this! Doesn't look so bad actually. I mean, how many demons do we need to fight? Four? The five, five, five. But still, that's uh, basically nothing. If you compare it to the other fights. Uh, he can fly. He has Phantasm. Any... YMs around. A one. This one. Okay. If I go over here, I'm safe, right? One, two, one, two, three. Right here. You come right behind me. You go to the left. Right. One, two, three, four. Okay, I cannot avoid this battle, so uh, I'm going to send Midori first, I guess. Sure. Move over here and wait. So then, my friends, I see you try to battle me. Good that I have Midori with, uh, oh, Force Dance, I mean. And my Bufu. And my Zio isn't going to help at all. How about I train you up? Since you also have drain and you try to train my MP. From all people you try to train with Doris MP. Is that a joke? I mean, come on. There's no way. No freaking way. Oh, it's already dead. Let's drain him up. 
That wasn't really enough, but at least I got my MP back. So, this guy won't get in my way. Come on, get over here. <laughs> my target. My target! Eh? Those kids. Hey, it's Una! Don't you dare kill my guy! It seems they're in the middle of a battle against demons. They're using comps. We have to save them. Use that comp we found yesterday. No, 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 don't use it. You're going to be trapped in here. If you use that comp, you're trapped. Affirmative, sir. I'm ready for action. No! Good. Activate it. No! Yes, sir. Activating comp. Don't do it. I'm fine. Those things are a joke. That's not just five demons. I can one hit them if I want to. No, don't. Oh my god. Worked. We'll finally be able to combat the demons. Oh, you idiot. Right. I command you, demon. Save those humans. It's not, it's not going to work like this. Are you the one who summoned me, woman? If I kill you, I will have my freedom. What? I summoned you. Why aren't you obeying me? Because you need to kill him first. You have to form a contract, woman. A contract? What are you talking about? The things you don't know about. You gotta form a contract with it first or it's not gonna listen to you. To do that, you gotta beat it. <laughs> what? Understood. Oh my god. But will conventional weapons have any effect? Yes, for the time being, yes, thanks to the harmonizer, but still! You could have asked us first! Ah, oh, explain. Can you explain the harmonizer effect? If someone is in its range, they can fight demons. Harmonizer? So anyone within the comp's range gains the ability to fight demons. Okay, got it. Nice feature, right? Uh, Alright, you have my support, Captain. We'll bring this demon into submission. Uh, are you guys fine, or do I need to help you? Roger that. Oh my god. This was supposed to be an easy mission. You just made it a bit harder for me. Okay, okay, I... Ooh. But at least they can attack them from range, right? My attack connected. Looks like they told us the truth. Why would we lie? You got that right. It's all thanks to the harmonizer. Now we're on equal ground with the demons. Equal? <laughs> of course not. But then again, it looks fine. I, do I need to help them out? I'm not sure. Either way, I need to take care of that thing really quickly. With ice dance and... Fire dance and the power hits against the. Uh, never mind. Ice dance! Oh no, not my girl! Not my girl! She's kind of weak lately! She's kind of weak! Yeah, I have a, have a ice dance that didn't work the way I wanted it. Ooh, this is uh, kind of. kind of strong. Kind of strong. <laughs> Kikurihiba? Good that you finished him off. But I might want to switch out sooner or later. Ooh, that gives me the chance to get a good skill. Fire dance isn't really that reliable. What about I also give a holy dance? A drain. Which it doesn't really need to have drain. Holy dance it is! Oh. Well. Uh, I guess I need to take care of you really quickly. I'm sorry, but uh, it seems like those guys actually need my help. And I will not leave them hanging. So, uh, yeah. Bufu. Dear God, if I got hit by that, I would have... I would have been so angry. So, so angry. <laughs> okay, okay, I think uh, we're pretty much done here, right? We are pretty much done. Let me just uh, drain you out. 
What? It wasn't enough? Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Three on each? That's a joke! That's a freaking joke! Oh, okay, go! Let's, uh, let's wait a turn. Mm. You are kind in the way. So let's move over here. Okay, Kikori Hima. Even though I really like you, I might want to have a flyer right now. So, Ray, summon a flyer. Do I have a flyer? Or maybe a fantasy? Oh, yeah, I have a flyer. Perfect. Let's get me over to this side really quickly. Attack this guy. I want my Sundine. Uh, Makajamo. Sure. Then, uh. Then attack. And a power punch on the left one. There we go. Mute it. Power punch. Too bad for you. Too bad for you. Bye. I'm just going to grab this really quickly. And when I'm already here, I'm also going to drain her SP. Just so that she doesn't have that much AP anymore. No need. And attack. Hopefully I can get in the way for the other horse is going to get in the way. Attack, attack. Actually, I think my character could possibly go after the com now and then rush to Izuma's aid. Yeah, should work. Let's block him off so that he doesn't block off at Suru. Then we go for him. Mm. Brutal hit. Yeah, sure, that should kill him off. Then I can go with Berserk and... Mapufu! Mapufu! Oh no. Oh, good! Good! He doesn't get hit! Perfect! Was worried for a second. Oh. Well, at, at least uh, nobody died. Right? Nobody died. He also didn't die, but at least he's so weak he should be able to possibly be a threat right now, right? Yeah. So, Lorelai, you are covered! How nice of you! Hey! That demon's going to those special forces people! Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? You're not supposed to, to go there! You're my target! You are my target and my target alone! I've been hit! Are you alright, Captain Izuna? Yes! I can still fight! Have they ever fought demons before? Man, these guys are a handful. That's rude. Those are just normal humans. That's the first battle against demons. It's fine. We gotta help them. So, uh... Yeah. Great. Attack. Kinda annoying that I need to just deal with them right now. Especially... Since I was supposed to wall hit them. Why are you blocking me off? Why the hell are you blocking me off? Come on, that's not fair. You were supposed to die this turn. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> okay, uh, wait. If I end my turn right now, I can move again. Very soon. Attack, attack, attack. Good. Oh 
wanna say this Nisrock guy with his permanent MP SP heal is actually kinda good. Are they able to handle this guy or yeah, I uh Do I have another demon I could summon? Can I check my demons? Am I able to check my demons? No, I cannot. Okay. If I end my turn right now, I can move again very soon. Ooh, one more turn and they're able to summon the demons. Good. Very good. Now if I could possibly get over there before the the bot guy decides to attack again. There we go. Stupid Ender. Dead. So, uh, Gam, Gam, I, I really need your help. We need to get over there before it becomes troublesome. There it speeds. There. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! You know what? I'm gonna use Maragi, attack, and uh, Mabufu. Dear God, I hate you so much. I hate you so much for this. You cannot even describe how much I hate you for muting me right now. Ah! Oh. Well, at least I get my force M, right? At least I get my force M. <laughs> But still, this is ridiculous. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Why is it so hard to kill those guys? Ah, okay. Hi there, dudes. Uh, I guess I need to kill you. You have an ice cream, as it seems like. Oh, that's just perfect. Here, have that. And uh, four stands. And uh, ooh, let's use more ice then. Ah, uh, that wasn't really that good. I don't like that at all. Supana, I really need to get some better ice or uh, better flyer. I cannot have demons around that just get one hit by super enemies. Mm. Oh well. End my turn. Moving over here. Wait my turn. Are you going to take care of him? Good. Wait. That wasn't enough. Why wasn't that enough? Just making it harder for me. Wait. Wait. Oh, he recovered. That's, uh, that's kind of bad. At least he isn't that strong, right? And she finally took care of a bird. Human, you have potential. The contact is sealed. You shall have my power. I am the wings of the battle. But girl, cut her something. You will see the brilliance of my dark pinions. The contract is sealed? Did we do it then? Yeah, that's your demon now. Good job, Captain Izuna. I must say, you have a really good one. I had some kind of dog with a club. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And he wasn't even able to speak. So, good for you. Good for why are you with summoning? And why did you suddenly get so strong? You, you didn't do that before. Uh, I cannot use ice. So how about Dr. Moore? Power hit. Worked. Too bad. Doesn't work for you guys. Nothing is going to work for you guys. Oh, that was kind of cute. So now uh, I'm so free, I'm going to drain you, power punch you, and he doesn't have a right? Yeah. Good! 
Never mind me draining all of my MP back. And just wait. We're gonna finish him off and then we take care of the Kong, okay? Okay. He has endure. First dance, drain, holy dance. Might be a bit overkill, but I just want to make sure that he dies. There we go. So now then, am I able? Of course I'm not able to reach it. Attack him. Should be able to kill him off right now, right? Yeah, should be able to power hit. Whoa, Beaver! You're really strong, you know that. You're really strong. Uh, are you able to even use another one of those sets? Yes, you are! Dear God! Cool! Don't mind, I'm just going to drain the rest of his MP. And HP. And let's get a bit more speedy. Looks like we managed to clear the area of demons. Yeah, seems like it, but I still need to grab that, uh, grab that comp, so if you wouldn't mind, I would like to not pick it up, okay? Okay, I'm just going to leave it then. Who needs another comp, the right? The comp is far more powerful than we anticipated. It should prove useful in our mission. Um, Fushimi, you shouldn't have used that comp. Now you're stuck here, you know that, right? Now, about you children. Why have you come here? Well, we had something to ask. Ask us? I'm afraid it's all on a need-to-know basis. We cannot reveal any... Commander, isn't there any way we can enlist their help? Eh? Their help? Yes. With all due respect, sir, it's obvious from that battle that their power far exceeds our own. <laughs> well... That's just because you aren't used to demons yet. I mean, you have far more fighting experience right and we just experienced demons for five days now so if you get used to demons i'm fine i'm sure you're going to be fine they're skilled with their comps and they know much more about the demons than we do well we have a five day head start wouldn't it be best for us all to ask for their assistance well, i'll concede the point but we can't ask for help from civilians why not we are all humans here why would it hurt our pride as an elite special unit? What? Commander, I volunteered for this to save Tokyo and the lives of its citizens, not to protect the unit's honor. If there's glory to be had here, it's in success, no matter how we achieve it. Hmm. You've grown quite a backbone. Forgive me for speaking out of turn, sir. Once the mission is complete, I'll attend. I'm leaving you in charge here. Give these civilians whatever they need to know. You're acting on my orders. I'll take full responsibility. The rest is up to you. Oh! <sighs> Commander Fushimi. Captain Izuna, get it done. That's an order. Y yes sir! You heard the commander. Come with me. I have something important to tell you. How much further is it? So now we're finally going to get some information? Just past that iron door. Some really good information? I guess you'd know it as the side road that normal vehicles are prohibited from entering. Yeah, we kind of heard about that. So it does exist. Oh my god. What the? Is this a subway platform? Wow. So the city highway and the subway really are connected. No one can eavesdrop on us here. Demons can't get in either. Hmm. What I'm about to tell you violates the Official Secrets Act. It'll have to be vague. If you disclose this to anyone, you will face severe retribution by the government. <laughs> uh, disclose this to anyone, huh? You do know that this is a YouTube video and uh, possibly anyone could watch it. Are you prepared for that? <laughs> I'm not prepared for that, but at least I have demons to protect me, right? 
<laughs> yes. This lockdown came about when we discovered that humans are summoning the demons. We know they're being summoned by comps. Comps developed by the Shomonkai. So we chose a day when the Shomonkai would gather in one place and began the lockdown. Uh, how long? I mean, how long did it take? We had no time at all. The government panicked when they discovered the existence of demons. So we began the operation without any substantial countermeasures against them. Great! Perfectly planned operation, but I see. we couldn't sit back and watch demons continue to increase in number. As we learned more about the demons' power and abilities, our timetable grew shorter. Against the threat of demons spreading worldwide, we had to enact the lockdown that day. That's as simply as I can put it for you. Do you have any questions? Um, why... What's your deadline, actually? I'm sure you figured that out already. Two days, sir. The numbers the comp shows over people's heads. That's this death clock, isn't it? Yeah. I see. I thought so. Now that I have a comp, I can see it. This is why rumors of the Judgment Day spread. Yep, because of that little number. The day the number runs out, that's the day this mission will end in failure. Speaking of which, um, it seems you have one day less than everyone else. Nice that you noticed that, Isuna. We have some trouble tomorrow, but don't worry about it. I'm sure we're going to be fine. <laughs> You don't beat around the bush, do you? That death clock has been a real pain. I'm sorry, but there's no time to waste treading lightly. Let's not mince words. This death clock means you're all gonna die tomorrow, yes? Yeah. No, we're going to survive, whatever it takes. The death clock can be changed depending on what we do. Though it's not easy. But we've changed it before, and we'll change it again. Actually, we've changed it quite a lot lately. We changed it for other people, for better or worse. Sorry, Jin. And we already escaped it twice. So I'm sure we're going to do it a third time. And then we're going to do it a fourth time in order to get over the pass, uh, the seven day limit or something. Good to hear. If you all died, this conversation would be for nothing. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the mission before everything, huh? I don't know. But I'll let it slide for you. Oh, by the way, not everyone can see the death clock. When you form a group, only the one holding the host comp can access that function. So since you're on your own right now, that's not a problem for you. I see. Thanks for the tip. But if the death clock is accurate and hard to change, our mission's doomed to fail. Damn. We have to avoid that at all costs. Oh, sorry. Is there any uh, anything else you want to know? Why not just destroy the comps? Yeah, if you just collect the comps and release normal people, that should be fine. As I said, some demons can take human form. They've already claimed some of our own. Right, those suspicious humans. Which also sometimes act as angels. With no way to be sure, no one can leave the lockdown, even if we collect all the comps. No exceptions. Once someone is inside, they're not allowed out. Not even us. There's one other reason for the lockdown. Huh? Uh, what is it? The government wants to cover up the demon's existence. Until our mission's success is confirmed, they won't release anyone who knows the truth. And how do they plan to cover that up after thousands and thousands of people witness that? At least one of them is going to speak out of line. Then they never intended to let anyone out from the start. That's how serious this mission is to them. Do you understand now? Damn them. Now... Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, what will happen if the time is up? That's something I'd rather not answer, but if I must... Okay, stay calm and listen. After two days, everyone left in the Yamanote Circle will be annihilated. But why? What? I can understand if it's hard to believe, but it's the truth. The people within the Yamanote Circle will be annihilated at the hands of the government. The, the, they will use a nuke? Nothing like that. We can't destroy any more of Tokyo than absolutely necessary. Killing everyone while leaving Tokyo intact? Are they gonna use a neutron bomb? 
Neutron radiation is lethal while minimizing structural damage. It's true. But it's not fully effective amidst concrete, making it unsuitable for urban areas. Then how are they gonna do it? Unfortunately, further details are classified. I can't tell you that. You know what? I think I already know how they're going to kill us. Then we can't believe you. There is no such weapon. You're trying to scare Asuro. us. I think you should know it after all, Our right? Our security policy is strictly defensive. We must always be on guard against occupation. The contingency plan involves many devices set up in Tokyo to take back our city. They remain hidden in people's daily lives. The government's final option. Oh, it really is! It really is that thing! The UEM field! <sighs> How did you find out about that? Well, you have your sequence, I have mine, right? So it wasn't going to be used on citizens. It was meant for invading armies. But now, they're planning to use it on us, huh? Is this why there was that blackout the same time the lockdown started? I can't answer that. I'm sorry, but I've said all I can on the subject. B but is this final option really going to take care of the demons? <laughs> That's the best part. What about those demons that have some kind of resistance against electricity or, or fire? I think they might be fine against that attack. If the government goes that far and they don't all die, won't it all be for nothing? Yeah! Saying we sacrificed everyone but it didn't work, whoopsie, isn't gonna cut it! Indeed, we won't know for certain. Commander. Oh, he's back! In truth, we don't have any conclusive evidence that our final option will do its job. But it's the best chance we have. At the very least, it'll wipe out the comps and the demon tamers. Wow, thanks. At least the humans and the comps die. Who knows? The comps are the only thing that actually works against demons right now. But oh, let's get rid of it. Great idea. Perfect idea. I love those. Ah. But I want you to understand. We're working hard to finish this mission without resorting to the final option. Yeah, sure. I know that. But still... If we get to that point, it's over for the world. Yes, Captain Izuna, but if this information gets out, it would only cause more panic. What good can come of telling them this? Maybe none, but I want to believe in them. You've seen the reports on their actions that the others compiled, haven't you? Huh? Yes, there's no mistake as to their intentions. Still. Wait a minute. Was someone spying on us? Huh? W was someone spying on us the whole time? Commander Fuchimi walks away, deeper into the station. So the government has no plans to let people in the Yamanote Circle out of the lockdown. Don't be so hasty. As I said before, that's the last ditch, final option. We're doing our best to end this without resorting to it. You say that, but you don't really sound so confident. But for now, I try to believe in you. I mean, you're the first person to actually give us those informations. And don't act so hasty like the SCF guys, who try to attack us just because they use some stupid comms. Thank you. But that option is out there. In the worst case scenario, we'll all die. Isn't that so? Yeah. Yes. That's right. What a load of crap. Atsu! Come on! I guess those guys are also afraid, and I don't see another option for the time being. If nothing changes in the next two days, everyone in this lockdown will be murdered. Don't they know how many of us are left inside here? How can a government kill its own citizens that easily? You think it was easy? Can you imagine the burden this country is facing by locking down Tokyo for this long? Tokyo is the axis that Japan revolves around. The economy, the government, everything. And all that is locked down. But still, why do we have to die too? If demons were used throughout Japan in crimes and terrorist attacks, what would happen? We'd be powerless to stop it. The police, the SDF, everyone would be helpless. To save the country, it may become necessary to ravage its capital. I need you to understand that. Th then at least extend the deadline. What can we do in just two days? Well, actually, we had seven, <laughs> but we didn't know about the whole thing until now. Great! Think carefully. As of now, no demons have crossed the blockades. But tomorrow, who knows? 
And it's not just demons. If one comp makes it out, we fail. No, a week is too long for the lockdown as it is. If we really wanted to be sure, we'd have exercised the final option at once. Yet the government dispatched us here. Think hard about what that means. Hmm. You might succeed, right? I can't guarantee anything, but there must be a way to save everyone. We volunteered for this mission because we believed that. Knowing all this might only cause you more trouble, but if it raises the slim chance of this mission's success, please help us. Well, we wanted to stop the lockdown either way, so we will help. Don't worry about it. You have my deepest thanks. Lastly, one more favor. You're not to tell anyone what you learned here. Understood? Of course. I wouldn't say anything about this. I'm just going to show everyone about this. Uh, well, we can't really let the people know, right? Thank you. If it got out that the government might kill everyone in two days. <laughs> everyone is going to get mad and try to force their way out. The people inside the Yamanote circle would start to panic. We'd never get control back. I'll be counting on you. I can't believe a weapon like the UEM field is real. It sounds like a sci-fi story. If we hadn't heard the PSC law rumor and Azuna's story, I wouldn't have believed it. But that aside, if we don't do something about the demons in two days, we'll all be killed. Huh. You don't need to tell me twice. I understand. You seem pretty calm about all this, Atsuro. Aren't you afraid to die? Huh. Of course I'm afraid. It's just panicking about it won't do us any good. We just have to bite the bullet and get it done. Uh, but... But... No buts, Yuzu. We only have two days left. We need to rush it down. If we don't do something about the demons, we can't get out of here. We only have two days. And the best part is, it's not even two days anymore, right? I mean, we're already in the middle of the day. So it's even shorter than just two days. Oh no. Izuna and Fushimi are doing their best, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> it's up to us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we can't rely on anyone else to handle this anymore. Great! If anyone's gonna do something about the demons and lift the lockdown, it's gotta be us. Great! I'll do it! If the hero gives up, then all hope is lost! Three, wait, wait. Four kids and a cosplayer are going to save the world! Well, or at least uh, the, the Yamanota Circle. I'll take care of all those demons and save the people in distress! <laughs> I'm absolutely not worried about that. We don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. We can talk to Shoji. We can talk to Keisuke. We can talk to Honda, Jin, Yuzu, Isuna, and Amane. Now the question is, with who am I supposed to talk to? <laughs> I, uh, I'm really not so sure about this. But. Uh, you know what? Since Isuna is here, we didn't really have that many chances to talk to her, so Isuna you guys. I don't care how many times you come. I can't let you through here. I don't worry about that. I just wanted to talk to you. Uh we just wanted some news. Just gathering intel, huh? Alright. I'll tell you what I learned from my investigation. This majesty, the Shomonkai worship. Appears to be a demon named Belbereth. Bel... Wait, not a bell? Belbereth? Right. Supposedly this Belbereth is a being with incredibly strong powers. Uh-huh. The Shomonkai founder, Kazuryu, wanted to contact it to prepare for God's ordeal. Belbereth answered that call and lent Kazuryu its powers to wage war against God. And why would he do that? Why did it do that? Belbereth is a demon who's openly hostile towards God. Kuzuryu objects to God's ordeal. Is it that surprising that Belbereth would help him? But I thought that guy wanted to have the ordeal and face it. Wasn't that all about his proposal the whole time? Now I'm kind of confused. What What is this deal? You've got a point there. What is this plan? I don't get it. It seems the powers of gods and demons are affected by the number of their believers. Huh. Kuzuryu created the Shomonkai to give this power of belief to Belbereth. Ah, 
Yeah, so Belbarov is probably using him to get stronger. Maybe for the fight of Bell. Belbarith then grows in strength and confronts God, granting Kuzuryu's wishes. This mutual interest is what makes the tie between the two parties strong. A god's power comes directly from belief in it. Religion sounds a lot like politics. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter to us, but I agree. As conditions in the lockdown worsen, more people join the Shomonkai. Meaning... More powerful Babarif. Oh yes. god. It's possible that the government is tightening its own noose. The lockdown intended to contain the demons is helping Belbarith acquire more power. But the Shomunkai are using Belbarith's power to stop God's ordeal, right? Yeah. But what is if the Shomunkai are the reason for the ordeal in the first place? Then is this ordeal really going to come? What's going to happen when it does? I don't know what will happen. Kuzuryu seems to think that it's on its way. Have you heard any of his speeches? He recites the story of the Tower of Babel. Kuzuryu believes that the same thing that happened then is going to happen again. Hmm. Did we lose communications? That's how the story goes. Ancient Babylonians created a giant tower into the heavens. It provoked God's anger, and he divided their common tongue so they couldn't communicate. In the next ordeal, we'll lose all forms of communication, and God will take over the world. Or so Kuzuryu claims. Of course, there's no way to know what happens until it happens. Wow, that would really suck. I think I can sympathize with him a little. That's why people join the Shomonkai. And by doing so, they strengthen Belbarith. Now, you should get going. We're always looking for more intel. We'll be in touch. Thanks, Izuna. It was really insightful. And, ooh, there's still a lot to I could talk to. I was worried that some of them disappear, but they're all there. Okay, I think I'm going to make a cut here. I hope you guys found this part interesting with all the informations we got from Mizuna. I mean, the U uh, UEM field is a thing. And it seems like normally we could have died the first day if the government didn't believe in us finding another, uh, another solution. Yeah. Oh, and also we heard another bell. Bell the riff, right? Somehow I have the feeling we need to fight that thing. After all, we kind of are forced into the battle of bells. And we already defeated Belda. And tomorrow we need to fight Bell, yeah? Yeah, Bell, yeah? So that can only mean that I'm also supposed to fight Bell the riff, right? Right. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with this part. And in the next part, we're going to talk to a lot of people, it seems like. So until next time, bye!